Hello everyone, welcome to TechWeb Dots. Today I am going to discuss about graph data structure. Okay, so let's move ahead without wasting time to see what are the topics that I will cover in this session or in my upcoming sessions related to graphs. So as you can see the two highlighted points, introduction, concept and application means where we can use graph in real world or in my upcoming session i will discuss all these remaining points one by one okay so let's move ahead next to proceed so i strongly suggest you to watch these two videos which are on basics of c sharp okay and the link is given in the description of this video so let's, let's move next so if i talk about the classification of data structure in c sharp especially so we have arrays list stack queues dictionaries sets heap trees and graphs as you can see the highlighted one i am going to talk about graph only tree and graph are the two special data structure that comes under non-linear data structure if i talk about more in terms of graph so this is the hierarchy that contains all the important features of graph first two point definitely i will cover in this session and in my upcoming session i will cover representation that contains adjacency list and adjacency matrix Similarly, its implementation that contains nodes, edge, graph, and the complete directed and undirected graphs, traversal that contains depth first search and breadth first search, minimum spanning tree that contains algorithm and a good example, coloring, shortest path, and the algorithm example. So all these points we will cover one by one. Okay, so let's move ahead next. So I have prepared one example for you so you can understand what actually graph is. And let's go by definition first. I know the best way is to explain is through an example, but let's understand very, very important points only related to graph. A graph is a non-linear no, or you can say non-sequential data structure consisting of nodes. These are called nodes. Okay, this is 0, 2, 5, 1, 4, 6, 7. So these are the nodes I'm indicating here by this by this text. Okay. And these are the edges between 1 to 3 this is my edge okay and the number written over there on the edge or you can say arc or you can say line that that is called weight okay so now let's read the definition once again a graph is a non-linear non-sequential when we say non-sequential it means i am talking about the graph entries because the example of sequential will be arrays list queues so those are the example of linear but now we are talking about only graph which is a non-sequential data structure and consisting of nodes and edges we have seen what these are the nodes are something also referred to as vertices okay so we can also call them vertices and the edges are lines or arcs that connect any two nodes yes we can see there is an edge between node 1 and node 4 in the graph this is the basic definition of the graph now a graph data structure does not require any specific rule regarding connections between nodes but yes in trees we have okay so i am talking about the rule between node 1 and node 4 so there is no specific rule in graph but in trees we have but tree is not in the scope of this session so that's why we will, we will not go there so let's focus on graph only graphs are data structure that are commonly used in practice and to solve many real-time problems and used in application such as storing of data of friends in social media or you can say social network like LinkedIn, Facebook or finding a road in the city or to represent network. The networks may include path in the city or telephone network or circuit network. There are very good example out there of graph in real world. So for example in Facebook each person is represented with a vertex or you can say node and each node is a structure and contains information like id name gender and its locale okay i mean from which region that person belong they are ready to use data structure provided by most of the programming language like linked list and arrays and many more but there is no direct data structure provided in c sharp to create a graph okay that's a big information for you now i would like to show you the type of graph the one type that you have already seen which is a directed one and the weighted one okay these are the nodes this is the edge and this is my weight but on the right hand side you can see there is no direction there is no weight okay there is only node 
and there's only edge so this graph is called undirected graph or you can say unweighted graph and we can also say this is a pi directional graph means direction can be 4 to 1 or 1 to 4 and if I talk about how to represent this with, uh, with array example so we can see there are a set of vertex or you can say nodes so all the nodes contains from 0 to 7 it starts from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so v equals 0 to 7 all are the vertex and the set of edges okay so edge is 0 to 2 1 to 3 1 to 4 and 2 to 5 3 to 5 4 to 6 and 6 to 7 so these are the edges present in this graph okay now i believe you have some basic idea what graph is and what are the basic properties of graph okay in our next video we will discuss how we can represent the graph in computer memory okay so i will see you in the next video if you have any question any suggestion please leave in the comment box i will try to reply on that as soon as possible don't forget to provide your feedback that's the only inspiration for me to create such videos and i will see you in the next video till then bye